All right, y'all. Now it's time for leaving the farm with Tammy Peppermint. Now, on blacklisted news today, there's a report on uh, Britain pedophile network at the heart of government. Now, that's the same thing it is here. Um, legislatures, lawmakers, attorneys, those in positions of high power, they like trafficking in children. That's what they do. That's their function. Um, to enable a child to be a product, it has to be broken, and they're breaking them. Uh, they're breaking your children. And they're doing this through trick and deception, of course, and also through consent. You're consenting to this. Um, I will give you an example. Today, a 19-year-old child, it reports her in the dailycaller.com as a woman. This is a teenager, 19 years old. A 19-year-old calls cops for help. They smash her face and charge her with assault. Her boyfriend was apparently, uh, according to her, overdosing on anti-anxiety medication. And I'll touch on that for a second, too, because uh, that's another profound aspect of what we, we are dealing with today. Uh, they just facilitated the first ex execution using a derivative of lorazepam and phenobarbital. And everybody who has seizures or convulsions in any way have taken or been prescribed phenobarb, and they've been prescribed lorazepam or Ativan, uh, Valium, Xanax to combat anxiety, they just use these medications for the first time to facilitate an execution. Uh, these medications are used every day in hospital settings to kill your parents, to kill you, to kill your children. That's the end stage of everybody's life. They're put on a derivative of lorazepam and some other muscle relaxant or uh, such as phenobarb, uh, hydromorphone is what they're using, which is a uh, derivative of hydrocodone, uh, hydromorphine, morphine, opiates. These things shut your body down. It uh, decreases the ability of your lungs to function. Everybody has lost someone in their lives who have been through the what what is known as the death rattle. That sound is that human being drowning thanks to the medical industry. That is a presentation for you to watch as your family member or yourself is being executed in a hospital setting that makes it look pretty and nice. Everything's whitewashed and everybody has coats on and clean beds and clean shoes and clean hands. They really don't have clean hands and they will be held accountable for genocide. <laughs> 